All praises to the Almighty, Sublime, Most Magical One. Hallelujah. And to all of my fellow servants in the kingdom of the Most High in this world and beyond, I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours. Yes, we're going to go over recognizing God's magic. I'm the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, a.k.a. the Hebrew Widow, here to show you the Most High's magic. I am a magician and I receive my magical gift in a magical way. I see magical things on Google Earth almost every day. And I render my services for magical pay. Hallelujah. Why do I call myself a magician? I call myself a magician for the Most High. Because he hired me to show you all of this glorious magic. My magic in particular is finding the Most High's magical manifestations upon Google Earth in the regions of Eden and Agartha. I have found so many magical things on this journey and so I, this is part one of me sharing with you how to recognize this magic. My journey all started with mud fossils. I realized that there were titans that lived upon the earth and these titans were all turned to stone. Some of our mountain ranges are made of these titans. And when I realized just the enormity of the titans and how they were turned into stone while still in motion, I realized how magical the Most High is. And I started looking for my own mud fossils and I found some. And these are titans from other worlds. And when I got in closer, I started finding all kind of magic, all kind of magic in worlds that we knew nothing about. All kind of creatures that we knew nothing about. Some we did, the angels we knew of Atlanteans, but now they're making an appearance on our earth. And so while we go through this video, I'm gonna take you to some magical, magical places up on the earth. This one I call Where Colors Come From. Yes, it's many, many magical lands that I'm going to share with you today, along with uh, slideshows of, of findings of the Most High's magic. If you're new to my station, we're on Google Earth Africa, and I always leave the coordinates on your screen so you can go and check out these worlds for yourself. In order to recognize the Most High's magic, you're seeing it with your natural eye, and there must be a connection with your spirit eye. Right now, we're looking at a transparent pyramid. I've never heard of a transparent pyramid. I've never seen, a, seen one before, and here we go. It has life forms all inside of this transparent pyramid. And I'm able to see it by way of Google Earth and the Archangel Uriel, who has a cloaking device that he utilizes to cover this magic. And at certain times, the cloaking device is lifted and we're able to see the magic. Also, the Sahara Sands are disappearing. And at the bottom of the Sahara Sands is all kind of magic. And that is what enables me to see these things is the same Google Earth as your neighborhood is in but the worlds look much different they're magical there are some things that we just didn't know about we had no idea that there were transparent pyramids I never heard of transparent pyramids with life forms inside of them but I'm showing you one right now with 100% evidence that it's 100% reality. My evidence is the Google Earth coordinates at the bottom of your screen. 
I always leave the coordinates at the bottom of your screen so you can go check out these areas on your own. On this journey today, we're going to be visiting many magical lands, so pay attention to your screen. You might want to go back and visit some of these areas. I'm sure you're going to see something that I don't mention, so just enjoy. Okay, so our next stop, I'm going to show you something very magical. It was a gift that the Most High gave to me, and that's finding Randolph. My husband, he passed away in 2016, and the Most High given me this magical gift. One day, I found the spirit of Randolph on Google Earth in a beautiful water world. And so, in order to see this, this is magic, is that it's no odds that can be calculated for me receiving this beautiful magical gift of finding anomalies on Google Earth and then on a very minute spot on the continent of Africa, I find Randolph. That was a beautiful gift from the Most High. But the message is, what are the odds? What are the odds? When there's no number to calculate the odds, it's magic. It's the Most High's magic. Yes. Only the Most High could have did this, okay? Only the Most High could have authorized this magical gift. And this gift right here confirmed that the Most High made me a magician and that he chose me for this job. Hallelujah. And I'm so happy to share this gift with you. Yes, when there is no formula that can calculate the odds, just know that it's the Most High's magic. Hallelujah. Now we're going to move on to Atlantean technology. Atlantean technology is appearing upon this earth. There are fiber optics layer upon layer underneath a glass barrier. There's all kind of life forms under there. There's angels under there. There's vehicles under there. There's dragons under there. It's all magical. And there are our Atlantean brothers in formation all over the place. Yes, that is an Atlantean formation. They're busy at work. Hallelujah. And so these things were prophesied to appear when the spiritual governances are balanced. And we're going to take a look at a Mr. Mythos, just a one-minute clip from his video on Agartha. Yeah, you see the vehicle on the rail? That's a vehicle on the rail. He and Dolores Cannon speaks of these vehicles. Yeah, Dolores Cannon say they go 3,000 miles per hour, and you see them all over the tracks. And there's, uh, there's passengers in them. And underneath the glass barrier, underneath those fiber optics, is so much magic. So there are the Google Earth coordinates for you to go check out this phenomenal area on your own. I did a video comparing the Most High's magical technology to CERN, and there is no comparison. They have a 17-mile hedron collider that took so much resources to build. Compared to CERN, what I'm showing you is humanly impossible. So let's look at this less than a minute clip of Mr. Mythos is very informative and I recommend that everyone watch it in its entirety. The hidden land, these details will be important when we cross compare with other sources. According to Salt Yev, the hidden land of Agartha lies deep below the surface of the earth, somewhere in the mountain ranges of the Himalayas. This enormous underground complex of cities and a population of millions is ruled by a sovereign pontiff known as the Brahatma and his two colleagues, the Mahatma and the Mahanga, upholding the highest of values in their authority. As protectors of knowledge, the entire collected wisdom of the ages is enshrined in its massive stone libraries, engraved in pillars in Vitanian script. 
He goes on to reveal that the Agarthian civilization was once above ground, but driven under and concealed from the rest of the world at the onset of the Kali Yuga, the present Dark Age cycle of Hindu chronology, around the year 3200 BC. Agartha is prophesized to reveal itself to the surface once again, but only once the world above attains spiritual balance in our governance. Agartha is prophesized to reveal itself to the surface once again, but only once the world above attains spiritual balance in our governance. Long has this hidden civilization enjoyed advancement of technology at a greater pace than our own, including gaslighting, railways, and air travel. And when describing one of their most prominent technologies, Saint-Yev accurately predicts fiber optics over one century before their invention. He describes, quote, electrical pathways, not made of steel, but of flexible glass. Debra, so everything that Mr. Mythos described is right before your very eyes. Seeing is believing. Yes, you have all of those fiber optics and bendable glass. And we can see at the bottom of the screen where it's clearer. And then we have the cloaking above. It said that it was going to start revealing itself once we attain spiritual balance in our governance. And so we need to know what that means because evidently, we have attained spiritual balance in our governance. Congratulations. We did that work. We did that work. Hallelujah. Yes, we went within. We truly repented for our sins and started seeking the truth. We got connected to the spirit realm. We're maintaining our spirit man's health. Yes, hallelujah, we did that work. Hallelujah. Back to the magic, guys. There are dragons there. Now, I know that I heard this prophecy came from the Bible, that there are actually dragons. Yes, there's dragons there. There's angels. Now, you see this formation? Yes, I see them all over the worlds of technology. And those little light dots appear to be garments. And you'll see a little dark dot at the top if you look closely. I have, uh, from time to time, caught one of them looking up. And I believe they're Atlanteans at work because they're in formation everywhere. Yeah, look at the vehicles. Look at all of this magic. And his passengers in the vehicles. Uh, Dolores Cannon talked about the vehicles that they had that go 3,000 miles an hour, and they're all over these tracks. And the tracks have the crossbars on it. If you notice, the vehicles are on the ones with the crossbars. Yeah, the rest of it is like electrical pathways. I guess it's a negative and positive side. Yeah, and this goes on and on. There's all kind of life forms down there. Yeah. Did you guys see Aquaman? If you look at that movie, I, I, I suggest you look at that movie. After seeing this technology, if you look at Aquaman, it's like the same thing. Only this cloaking is still on very strong. That's why the colors are kind of like dull, like a black and white TV. Actually, these places are very colorful. I found some. So this is the surface, yet you can see through that milky uh, barrier there. Yeah, so that's why I say it's a glass barrier because you have uh, uh, structures that don't look like they're made by humans. And a road that's sitting right on top. Yeah. Look at that. You can see some faces through there. There's giants underneath there too. It's all kind of life forms, you know. And, um, you know, I suggest that you, you know how you can go to the top of your screen. 
and you know on your tool when you're looking at these if I'm going too fast you know you can always slow it down the feedback down yeah so yeah to get a better look at these places because you're looking at this is what I haven't even seen this in the movies I mean look at this you guys and this is 100% reality. It's not humanly possible. We do not have the the raw materials, the, the resources, are the human resources to pull trillions and trillions and trillions of miles of fiber optics underneath the surface of Earth. We do not have that capability. If it's humanly impossible, if there's no resources available to pull something off, then it's magic. It's the most high's magic. If it's humanly impossible, if there's no resources available to pull something off, then it's magic. It's the most high's magic. There we go with the vehicles on the tracks. And those are passengers in there. Yes, honey. They already have the transportation waiting for us. I'm telling you. I've seen all kind of stations over the continent leading from one heaven to another. And yes, there are angels underneath there. Yeah, if you think you spotted one, that's exactly what you saw. We have life forms down there on this structure. I mean, this is amazingly magical. No, humans can't pull it off, baby. And they can't get near it either. You guys see all of those magical <laughs> life forms down there? And then we have look like some kind of uh, space vehicles. Man, I'm telling you. This is exciting. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, on the body of that Archangel Uriel, honey. Yes, that is the Archangel Uriel. Yes, it is fire. So, so we're here at a very prestigious time where the spiritual governances are balanced through us. Hallelujah. Yes, and we have many other prophecies that are related. Now, it went to Mr. Mythos, but now we're going to go Bible, okay? Genesis fifteen thirteen through 14. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed, thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. And afterward they shall come out with great substance. Abracadabra. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, this is our great wealth and substance that the Most High promised us. It's just laying out there for us to see, for the world to see. And it's only His magic that is protecting these jewels that are the size of hills being uncovered as the Sahara sands is blowing off. And this, my friend, right here, I asked the Most High for this hill. Look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, this is a small hill in comparison to the hills that I have found. It is so beautiful. And I said that it's the Most High's magic that is protecting these jewels. If you go to this area and you check them out carefully, you are going to see all kind of life forms within the jewels that's living around the jewels. Yeah, this is heavily guarded by the magic of the Most High. It's laying all out there in the open. Hallelujah! But the Most High said, no, no, these are for my children, the seeds of Abraham. This is to a specific people 
the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, and we are going to be so rich. You know what this number is? It's a big attack. It's a big attack. One of these years is worth that. My year is worth a Google Plus. Yes. And we have many, many hills going for miles and miles and miles of great wealth. And this is not the only area. When I first found it, I was like, oh, I shouldn't put the coordinates on there because somebody's going to go and try to steal it. Some colonizers are going to try to claim it. And the Most High said, oh no, oh no, this is for my children. I am sure many have tried. I know China did and they have been wreaking havoc since. I did a video on it. You might want to watch it. The Most High made this promise to, promise to a specific seed, the seed of Abraham. And if you don't like that, take it up with the Most High. This is was promised specifically to a bloodline, to a royal, holy, spiritual light bloodline. Yes. It wasn't for everybody. Everybody's not included in this, just like everybody's not included in the gathering. That's for people with DNA from the bloodline of Father Abram. Yes, hallelujah. Just look at the magnificence of it. It's just being uncovered. It's just surfaced. And look at that. The sands blew off and all of these precious jewels just showed up just laying out there. Yes, hallelujah. We will rule the world. We are going to be the most wealthiest people in the world because when there's no formula to, to calculate, all of this wealth is magic. Yes, when there's no formula cal to calculate this wealth, it is magic. So abracadabra. Yes, honey. Voila. Here it all is. This is your wealth. The Most High didn't let us be comfortable in this nation. We were rejected by everyone. Yes, we suffered in this matrix. Not all of our history, you know, before the slave trade, because we were very wealthy then too. Yes, hallelujah. So now we're going to go to this beautiful archangel well, I, where I find all of this magic. That's his cape. All the sandy areas in Asia is his cape. Swinging back. And look at him. He's so very black. And how many of you have seen his image and not recognized him? Yeah. Why don't they have him in the books? Because he's, he can't be whitewashed. It's impossible to whitewash this angel. Yes, sir, you're, you're, your tears are going to be soon over because your assignment is almost complete. Hallelujah. And we are in the great, great reset. And this is a significant sign also confirming the reset. This is a manifestation of a fetus in a womb that is crowning. Yes. And to me, that's a, a significant magical sign about Gaia being pregnant with new earth yeah it's it, there is going to be a reset all of these things the most high created in the very beginning and we were a part of his plan i understand that so much right now we were so much a part of his plan so we have all of these inexplainable uh phenomena that we just seen we saw technology we saw wealth we're looking at a titanic angel Yes, all of these things, magical lands. And now we're going to go to the most holy place that I found thus far. And this is a 3,000 foot megalith, the largest megalith on earth. And he too is very black. Now this megalith, 
It's like I said, it's the largest megalith on this earth. It's over 3,000 feet. But there are no hotels. There's no uh, colleges, institution, research centers. I've never heard of this megalith before. And it's carved from one stone. One stone that's nine city blocks. And he has a blast and a fire natal coming out of his mouth. He is perfectly carved and look at all the energy around him. So our Messiah looks nothing like this image. This is a false image. Yes, this is the Antichrist. Yeah, this is the big trick because our Messiah is very black. This is what he looks like. He's coming back for judgment. He's coming back for war. Yeah, and that is imprinted on this earth that he is very black. And the grounds had the appearance of being on fire at one time. And those fires left, and we have been under fire judgment ever since those fires left. Look at that fire natal and the blast coming out of his mouth. So there is another side to this uh, scripture that I want to I want to read this part and also that nation whom they shall serve I will judge and you're looking at the left hand of judgment right there that's a 400 foot megalith carved from one stone that has all kind of energy around it. And the fires was around this hand too. This very melanated hand. So we have all of these signs and wonders that have been hidden from the world. And we know it's obvious because it doesn't look like the images that they put before us. It looks like this image right here. It looks like the people of the Most High, the people of the book. Yeah, the seeds of Abraham. That's what it looks like. So truth is stranger than fiction. Okay, we've seen a lot of magic. The Most High's magic. Now I want to show you the magic of the Matrix. Yes, these fictional characters been put before us all our lives on... Sunday school cards. Yeah, Disney movies. This was Matrix Magic. Fictional characters put before your very eyes. And implanted in your brain. And they look much different. So let's look at some fairies that I found, okay? Abracadabra. When something is stranger than fiction, it's magic. It's the most high's magic. Abracadabra. Yes, doesn't he look just like one of our brothers or your uncles? And he's standing around those that uh, their uh, color is different. I think some of it is their hair. Yeah, see this one looks like she has long hair. And next, we're going to go to an area where I found angels. This one right here, I believe he's an Atlantean giant. Okay, because we are uh, looking on Google Earth and he's quite large. He looks like Big So this is the area where I found that Atlantean that looks like our brother Big Levi. Yeah, this is the same area. It's heavily populated. Yes. And now there's new discoveries in this land. I went to go take um, some more photos over there to show you how angels really look in Atlanteans. And I came across some more pyramids. The first trans transparent pyramid is not in this area. Okay. These are transparent pyramids. When you look in the creases of the pyramids, you can see the reflections, okay? And there's angels all over the place in this very mountainous area. Yeah, and it's very magical. So I told you that we're always looking through some kind of barrier. 
and, and this the, these mountain ranges that you're looking at you know they look like normal mountain ranges where you're looking at this pyramid looks like a normal mountain range until you get close yeah so this is more evidence that we are truly looking into another dimension we're looking into another dimension and yes some of it looks like shadows but it's very magical did you guys see them in there whoa wow okay so there's life forms you see how how the how it looks from a distance this is a very huge area and i don't care where i go in this area i find some kind of life forms or angels or whatever now i'm finding pyramids all over the place confirming confirming no one has ever heard of a transparent pyramid before oh that glitched a little bit look at the edges but from a distance, it just looks like a normal, uh, uh, it looks like normal earth. You get close and then bam, and look at all of that on the top. Yeah, it's like some kind of plateau. And if you go into this area, you will see that the fiber optics are showing through the tops of the plateaus. Yeah, see all those lights on top, like those sprinkles of light. And we have angels and light um, life forms all over the place in this area. So now you have the Google Earth coordinates. And I guarantee you, if you move in close to any of the shadowy areas, you will find all kind of magical life forms. Yes. Yeah, so this is some kind of dwelling here. Yes, this is like a very populated area. So now if you have an eye to see, yeah, if you have an eye to see, you know, you may pick up some very phenomenal things on this journey on your own. And this will be a good science. Now I'm just starting with this, um, just explaining how I got my magic because it was so hard to explain all of this. It's just unexplainable. And when it's unexplainable, it's magical. So I have gotten downloads from my ascended masters in the spirit realm, okay, guiding me through this. And so now uh, it seems as though we're going to another phase. Again, congratulations, you know, on the Mr. Mythos video. Evidently, uh, we, Starseed, have done something very, very special to the most high we went within we went within and we sought him out with our whole hearts we let go of a lot of things that was programmed in our brains and just start reaching just start trying to find all kind of truth about the most high yeah and a lot of things at the same time was being released to us that was hidden yes hallelujah and these things that I have shown you have been hidden since the fall of mankind. Yes, and this is a pure place. This is a pure place. And when we go there, because we, when, he, when he stretches out his right hand, his right hand and gather us from all nations, from where he scattered us, we are going to be re-educated with the pure unadulterated truth of whatever knowledge we need to rule the world yes hallelujah so we will have access to these worlds we will be taught by ascended masters whoever your ascended master is whether it be Buddha whether it be Yahweh Shai Jesus Christ you know whether it be Krishna Whoever your ascended master is that led you to the all, which is the most high, whoever that may be, you will be taught by them in these worlds, in the lands of Eden and in the lands of Agartha, the pure unadulterated truth. And there we will find out so many more magical things that's happening 
in the galaxies even. We're part of something so huge you have no idea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's just recap a little bit. So first of all, there has to be a connection between your natural eyes and your pineal gland that has to be healthy to recognize that these things are very magical. Number two, what are the odds? What are the odds? If it's something that that is no formula to calculate the odds, it's magic. If something is unexplainable, it's magic. If it's like come out of thin air, it's like no resources or knowledge or of uh I'll say access to certain magical technical things it's magic transparent pyramids are magic yes and so I'm I'm going to um end this lesson on this note thank you so much for watching <laughs> I know this is very strange I am a magician I am the Hebrew rose of Jericho aka the hebrew widow yes and i'm so happy to share this gift with you i recommend that everybody go back to that mr mythos video and check it out it's so much um knowledge being imparted from those prophecies concerning us there e there's even a book called the journey of the hebrews I don't know what's in that book, but if you guys, if somebody can get a hold of it, oh, I bet it's so much rich knowledge about it. I bet a lot of the prophecies concerning us in this specific time is in there. Yes, yeah, so I recommend you go back and look at that Mr. Mythos video. Okay, and also, I recommend that you go to my station and just look down the videos. It's, I have like a couple hundred videos and if you look at the thumbnail pretty much it's a, a wonderland or some kind of uh, creatures or whatever the discovery is the anomaly the magic that I found on Google Earth it will be a good picture on there so you can check those videos out yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the magic show we will be having another magic lesson very soon. The Most High is blessing me to find and understand all of these magical things. Hallelujah. And so now it's taking me more time to edit these videos. I hope you enjoyed it all. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the algorithm get all of this new magical knowledge out. Yes, yeah, so don't forget to hit the like. Okay, you guys, I send you infinite love and light. I receive yours. Shalom to all of my fellow servants in this world and beyond. May you have a magical day. Shalom, everyone. The Hebrew Rose of Jericho. Out.